Welcome to a ViewSonic how-to. My name is Ray and today I'm going to be showing you how you connect a VG56 series monitor to a VG55 series monitor and you get all of the data from these two monitors connected to a computer with one cable and that is the power of USB-C. Now to make this whole setup work and to make these companion products work together as they're supposed to, um, you're actually going to need six cables. So uh, this solution will allow you to charge your laptop, uh, have dual screen screen connectivity and um, do it all without any need for a dock. So this is our dock station killer scenario and uh, we feel you need to know how to set this up. So every cable that we are showing here actually comes in the box with the VG56 series. In this case this is a VG2756 2K. Uh, so you need your USB Type-C cable that is going to connect the 56 to your laptop. Put that right here. We need a DisplayPort cable that is DisplayPort full size on both sides. That'll go from the DisplayPort out on the 56 to the DisplayPort in on the 55. We'll put it between them here. This is your USB uh, type A and type B cable. So type B is an upstream port, uh, type A is a downstream port. So just like with the display port, we're going to go uh, downstream out of this 56 to upstream into this 55. And that means that the USB ports here on the side and on the back, uh, once this cable is connected, these will be live. And so anything you connect to these ports here will go all the way to your laptop and it'll work just like any USB port should. So again, we'll put it right here in the middle. And then each of these is going to need a power cable. Obviously, they need to plug into the wall. So each one's going to get its own power cable. And then lastly, this is the only cable not in the box that you would supply yourself, um, but everybody has these. This is how you're going to be getting internet in most cases if you're not using Wi-Fi. This is a standard RJ45 Ethernet cable, this one being a Cat6 cable and that connects into the 56 and that's really part of the reason why uh, this is our dock station killer because this is connected to your high speed internet faster than any Wi-Fi in terms of latency and this gets carried over the USB-C to your computer so that your computer effectively has an Ethernet port even if it didn't come with one so we're going to put that here at the back as well so let's start getting this all connected and you can see how this works so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the USB-C from our Surface Pro here into our VG56. Next thing this VG56 needs, it needs power. You can see that the Surface is already sending a data signal over to this monitor, but what you can't see is actually the power from this, the electricity, is going from here into the Surface Pro, so it's actually charging it now automatically. So already we've got part of our uh, work from home scenario where if you need to go on the road, this thing is going to be charged, you unplug it with one cable and you're off and going. Next thing we want to do is we're going to want to connect our Ethernet cable. Ethernet cable slots right into the back of the 56. There's an uh, Ethernet port right there. And now because we're using Type-C, the Ethernet data from the wall is going into the monitor and is being sent to the laptop. So when you go to your internet browser on the screen, you are getting internet through the 56 from your wall. Now we want to get the 55 working in tandem with these two. So like the 56, of course, it needs power. Okay, now the 56 and the 55 are powered on. Of course, the 55 has no signal yet. So we want to go with this DisplayPort cable from the 56 to the 55. This is what's called daisy chaining. Now we have the output connected on the 56. All we need to do is connect that to the input on the 55 and this monitor will kick on and start displaying the same image that's on this one. And you can see uh, now they're both showing picture uh, and it's all being done essentially with one cable from the USB-C into the 56 then daisy chain into the 55. Now this is supported on Windows. Uh, this is not supported on Mac OS. Mac OS does not have any kind of daisy chaining support at this time. Uh, hopefully that'll change in the future but for now this is a Windows only feature. And then the very last thing that we're going to connect so that the USB ports on this monitor work is we're going to connect our USB from this monitor to this monitor. 
the VG56 has these USB ports on the side, because it is made in such a way that the USB port is behind the panel, you can connect this without disturbing the other monitor. Let's see, like that. It's connected, but you can barely see it between these two monitors. And that's going to go into the upstream port on the 55. And just like that, the USB ports on this are now connected to this, which is then connected via Type-C to our computer. And just to prove that it works, I'm going to plug in a keyboard and mouse to these ports here on the very far edge of the 55 to show you that it's being carried all the way back to our surface. And so now I have my keyboard and mouse. If I connect them here, you'll see that the keyboard and the mouse both lit up even though the computer's way over here because all of it is being carried through our configuration, our ideal, one of our ideal work from home scenarios uh, to this 55 monitor. Uh, so that just gives you a quick how-to on how do you make these two companion products work together to make an ideal work from home setup, single cable to your Type-C equipped device and dual monitor productivity. Uh, please watch this space for more helpful how-to videos on ViewSonic products products.